So this Purim is about gaining favor, celebrating. Purim also is about celebrating in a way that what the enemy had planned, there is an unexpected divine reversal that comes. I think you have to be looking out or watching for your divine reversal. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And I love the way the Message Bible speaks about it in Esther chapter nine. It says that the plans of the enemy boomeranged back on his own head. So I love <laughs> we're it. expecting a boomerang season that's coming up. That's being really. And, and one of the show. things I will reiterate, I believe this is a 10 month process for us this year. I believe this boomerang that, uh, you know, when you look at Esther nine, you find that she had to have the signet ring to go and overthrow all of Haman's son. Right. I think this is going to be a 10 month process for us in seeing an overthrow of some structures that need to be overthrown. Amen. I hope that everybody's really hearing what he's saying and grabbing onto it. Even if you don't know what it looks like, we have to grab onto it in the spirit and then let God define it as we stay in position. And, and watch and for it so and watch for it and throughout each month. Yeah. Every month's going to be important. I want to just say, just ask you one more thing is that you talk, you said this, you said, this era is about the voice that comes out of your house. A supernatural, mystical atmosphere is contending for authority. You determine the rule. Could you expound on that just a little bit? I, I got really excited see, when you said that. See, we're in a supernatural season. A part, another pay word when you look at it in Aramaic is Holy Spirit is a pay word. So this is going to be an era of Holy Spirit visitation. Therefore, we've got to understand that it's a supernatural error. You can't look at a, just a snowfall and see the snow. You've got to see supernaturally what God's doing. You've got to look deep through your circumstances. There's a supernatural dimension that God's bringing us to. With perspective, you can have this one-dimensional rule, or you can look through and you can find a... a, a, a I consider the word multidimensional. Mm -hmm. you, you see from all angles something. S the supernatural, you've got to know it's an angelic season. It is a supernatural demonic season. But therefore, do not shrink back for hope because Holy Spirit is filling us. And that causes us to see into the spirit realm. And so we're living in a supernatural dimension. Don't be afraid to uh, see things prophetically. Don't be afraid to say, now, what does this mean to me? Don't be afraid to ask Holy Spirit to interpret. It's more of a revelatory era than it is an era of us just relying upon the wisdom of the past. Right. And so with that, revelation is uncovering what needs to be uncovered. So we have entered a supernatural era and you're, you're going to see it in the world. And I don't want the church to be left behind because we're so religious. We won't allow the supernatural to manifest in us in a new way. This is what you're talking about when you use the word mystical, right? Some people yeah, don't understand. Because things, you know, we're seers. So a lot of seers seem real mystical. Right. <laughs> uh, and when they say, well, I saw this, I saw this tree, it lit up to me. Well, that sounds real mystical, right. but we've got to know Holy Spirit can illuminate anything to you. Uh, when I, I, I remember being in more of a confined uh, denominational world, they'll say, well, you can only hear through the by the word of God. And if you don't have a scripture, you can't hear. God can illuminate a, a, a billboard to you. Exactly. And in a supernatural season, he can illuminate what you need to see. He can show you the layer of evil operating. I call that the, the divine reference law. He can show you really what's behind something. He can show you how the Lord is saying, look at this now, just like he did Jeremiah. I've never understood that. He would have Jeremiah look at an almond bush and he'd say, what do you see? You say, I see an almond bush. This is what that means. <laughs> right. That is a mystical, supernatural dimension that we have to know we live in. Amen. So we can't be afraid of mystical. We can't be afraid of revelation. 
We can't be afraid to do things new because I think it's going to be a lot of new things this year. And let me also say, this is why you need to be aligned. Yes. Don't go off on your own interpretation. Get people to help you with what you're seeing. Get a, get some understanding. Have authority speak into you. Don't shrink back so you're only seeing your way of seeing what's happened because it might be, uh, you know, dr the dream world is a mystical world. It it's a supernatural world, but don't just interpret it out of your own desire. Get help with your interpretations. Right, right. Well, Chuck, thank you so much for taking some time with us. I'd like to ask you if you don't mind, because it's all talking about going up higher, seeing in a new way, receiving from the Lord in a new way. Could you just pray? And I just want to just say this before you pray, is that there may be people that are watching and you're saying, you know what? Well, I don't think I'm really called to be a watchman. But I really believe that God wants to call us all higher to watch and pray. Jesus told us that we were supposed to watch and pray. And so I think everybody is going to need to come up to a higher place. I, I, I think we all Whether have to watch. you feel like you're, you're assigned as a watchman or not, I believe we're all called to watch over our families, watch over our cities, and watch over our nation. So could you just, could you pray for the people? Just like we're all called to spread the good news. That's right. You have to know that you might, that might not be your motivation gift, but you are called when God gives you an opportunity to enter in. You're watching for something. Now, Father, right now, I ask for a looking through ability. I decree right now that we're going to be able to see through, see into, and see beyond. I decree that over everyone that even listens to this message, that Father, our eyesight will get pinpointed. We will begin to see from a perspective, an angle we've not seen from. We will see from the body's perspective. I decree right now this new watchman anointing will rest upon your people at the moment they need to be anointed to see. Father, I loose this right now and I thank God for what you're doing through it. In Jesus' name. Amen.